I get asked about this, and I do not, I do not enjoy the conversation because there are so many whack jobs that have self-interest in the in the topic, which is Bitcoin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I get it. You know, I get I get people are getting paid on this, and I get that I'm not a Bitcoin guy. Okay, shoot me. Uh, but what 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 do you say when you get asked about this? It's the uh, it's the only subject, the only topic where I agree with Jamie Dimon. I, I've, I've been a pretty harsh critic of Jamie Dimon for <laughs> on a long this time. on this yeah, show. When he, say, when he says right, I, I, won't, I won't repeat everything I've said in the past, but when he says uh, it, it, you know it's a, it's a fraud, it's a Ponzi, I, I agree completely. I I call it a Ponzi with no one in charge. Um, but here, here's the thing: a Ponzi with no one in charge. <laughs> uh, there's no Madoff, but it's it's working that way. Um, a couple of things on Bitcoin. First of all, a large percentage of the transactions are things that, you know, at best, at best, we're talking about drug dealing, tax evasion, money laundering, and arms dealing. At worst, things I don't even want to mention, more, more reprehensible than that. So that's what a lot of this Bitcoin economy. So these, morally and ethically, you have to ask yourself, is that, the, is that the economy I want to join, number one? Well, people that aren't in financial markets might add hedge fund trading to that list, too. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't quite see it the same way, but th that's, that's the first thing. Sec I don't either. I just second thing, a more pragmatic uh, issue for me, you know, when, I, when I think about wealth preservation, there's a difference between making money and preserving wealth. There, there are two different things. When I think about wealth preservation, I say to myself, okay, a certain amount of wealth. I go to bed at night, and I wake up, and it's still there. And it was, there's, there's no state of the world that has caused my wealth to disappear. And you can say that about certain things. You can say it about gold. You can say it about fine art. You can say it about land, silver, private contracts. It's probably private equity. I know the, I know the people I invest with them. I can get on my bicycle and go see them. Um, so that's wealth preservation. Bitcoin, I don't know. I mean, I, I know I, I can read the tape. I know what the price action has been, but will it be there tomorrow? I'm not sure. But besides that, Bitcoin has not been combat tested in a business cycle. It was invented in 2009. Mm -hmm. We have not had a recession or a financial crisis since 2009. I've seen all these other asset classes through many business cycles, through financial panics in 87, 94, 98, 2000, yep. 2008. I kind of know how they behave, um, and w so Bitcoin has not been tested in that arena, so that's one doubt that I have. The third thing is, and there's good evidence for this, a lot of it's highly technical, but it's available. There's a lot of painting the tape, uh, and you and I know what that means. I think I'm sure a lot of uh, the listeners do too. So let's say you and I are Bitcoin miners, and the price is going down, and I call you up, hey, Keith. Uh, I'll sell you at 4,000, sell it back to me at 41, I'll sell it back to you at 42, yeah. sell it back to me. And we just sit there all day. There's no P&L because we're just trading the same Bitcoins back. But we're painting the tape, and meanwhile the sucker's like, oh, there it goes, you know, head and shoulders up, no, a breakout. And they buy it. And uh, this is what like, Joe Kennedy did in the stock market in the 1920s. And you, it's you, also one, what one of the sketchiest traders I've ever worked on in Wall Street told me that we need to talk about. Like, it's so easy among, he could do it, basically, is, is right, the point. Right, right. And where do you store your Bitcoins? Well, I know you can have a Bitcoin wallet and you have a brain wallet. I, I get all that. I, people think I'm technophobic. It's like, no, most, a lot of my private equity investments are very forward-leaning technology. I, I embrace technology. I get it. I've read these technical papers. So I'm not technophobic, but I also know a lot about markets. See, all the tech groupies who love Bitcoin, they know a lot about tech and not so much about the markets. I'm immersed in both. I'm trying to combine them. But uh, these Bitcoin exchanges, you know, where people park most of their Bitcoin, uh, you know, first of all, they're all under examination by the IRS, uh, the SEC, uh, other securities regulators around the world. People lose sight of the fact that, um, so I buy Bitcoin for $1,000 and I hold it for a while and, I, and then I go out and I use it to buy $4,000 worth of stuff, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, okay? Um, I have a three thousand dollar capital gain. I got to put that on my tax return. It's no different than buying IBM and selling it at a profit. How many Bitcoin people who do what I just said are putting that on their tax return? I don't know the answer to that, but I'm going to speculate. There's not very many. It's, I mean, it's not about being a technophobe either. I mean, the technology that is blockchain is fantastic. Yeah, and, and I mean, and people like us, we're not, you know, we're not technophobes. That's ridiculous. I mean, but what you said there, I, I've actually not heard anybody say on the other side of it, which is. How many people that pitch Bitcoin to me know anything about the history of currency and yeah. or money? You are actually the author. I mean, I think you would, you, would, you would at least begin to know. 
But some of these, some of these people know absolutely nothing about that. Right. They know technology and they know how to read a tape that goes straight up. Well, that's yeah, that's but pretty. But that's it, that pretty, that's pretty much it. Um, you so, could have been a gardener and seen that in tulips too. I mean, it's a, it, yeah, fantastic. Well, well, I, see I love gardens. The thing in tulip mania, at least you got to keep the tulip. At least, you, <laughs> at least you got a tulip. But here, I'm not sure that many of these people will be left with anything. Look, there, there's no doubt that some people bought it at 100, sold it at 2,000, walked away, good for them. That, that's true in every bubble. Yep. Some people get rich. I know a guy who uh, um, bought some uh, crazy tech, uh, no, it was a dot-com aggregator. I forget the name of it, see something. But uh, he bought a dot-com aggregator like in 97. It went from 20 to 200. He sold everything, walked away with $100 million, and then that, that company went bankrupt. It went like to zero mm -hmm. within six months. So fine, nice going. But, uh, but for the market as a whole, for wealth managers, for people trying to preserve wealth, for investors, this is no place to be. That's great. It's, it's interesting. I mean, for you to be criticized about it, and now, we, now that we've upset a bunch of people on this topic, uh, you know, <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, but again, for, you know, for people to... Um, to be to be upset about an honest debate about it. What could uh, I'd one, also like for it to be a two-way market. One one more data point, Keith. I'm pretty active on Twitter, as you know, and I'm pretty good at spotting bots. You know, and the three biggest <laughs> the three biggest bot um, uh, propagators were were the Obama administration, Vladimir Putin, and the Bitcoin people. Like <laughs> you say one thing anti-Bitcoin. I mean, the, the bots just come out of nowhere. They're all anonymous. They're all creepy. Uh, they're easy to spot. They're not real people. I'll have a real debate with a real person, but uh, but but these miners. You know, if I were a Bitcoin miner, well, I think the Bitcoin miners have a lot of interest in the kind of fraud we were talking about. Um, you know, crushing people on social media, trolling, uh, propagandizing, painting the tape, front running, all of the above. 